Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel Tech Lead and Partner at West Vault. And today we are talking about why software development is so good for starting a side hustle business. And in this, I'm going to go and look at a book called uh, Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DiMarco. I put that right back there, but I also put it right up here. And in this book, right, I'm going to give you a little summary and then the five uh, commandments. So MJ DiMarco talks about business, um, the way to having wealth, that there are three different kinds of lanes, the sidewalk, the slow lane, and the fast lane, right? And sp spitting on it to the fast lane, right, the only difference is that in the fast lane, you actually start a business. And why does a business allow you to make more money than elsewhere? Well, let's just think about it, right? If you are selling your time as an employee, the maximum amount of time that you can sell maximum is 24 hours a day. It cannot be more than that. You only have that. In reality, it's much less than that. So you only have one variable, which is your time. But if you had a business you first of all have two variables one is the unit that you're selling and the second one is the margin per item that you are selling so you have two of these things and both of them can change and increase very rapidly so that's why you want to be starting a business or a side hustle and that's what we are talking about in the latest um, line of my channel now Moving forward to this, why is software development or software developers, or if you are in the tech line like myself, so good for starting these side hustles? So I'm going to look at the five commit commandments that MJ DiMarco was talking about and relate it back to software development. So the first one is control. So control is how you control a business. How much do you give out to other people? Uh, do you rely on anybody else? Now, one thing that's really powerful about software development is that one person can actually do a lot of things. And this is very critical. If you, have, if you cannot do a lot of things, you're going to have to rely on other people. For example, if you are running a restaurant and you don't know how to cook, you need to rely on somebody else who's going to be the cook. You are losing control. Other things, if you want to be in the property business and you need a lot of capital, you need somebody else as a partner and to give out that control in exchange for their skill set. So this is one of the big areas where software development, you can go out and build a website for a few bucks and actually you spend more sweat equity without giving out control. So that's one really powerful area and why software development is very beneficial for a side hustle. The second area is entry. So what it means is basically a barrier to entry. Do not set up a business where other people can easily join in. So you don't want to set up a business where you're doing something and you're making money and someone says to you, hey, that looks really cool. I want to join in as well. I, want, I can start that business. So if you're thinking about something like maybe uh, sh shoe shining or something like that, right? Or Me Too businesses, especially one that like drop shipping where everyone else can do that that is very easy for them to come into. Now, the number of software developers around, the good news for all of us, right, is that generally the pays are pretty decent. So a lot of them have decided just to stick out and actually work for companies. And big companies employ lots of software development and suck up that supply. So that's really good. If your competitor wants to come in and build say a SaaS platform or e-commerce or whatever it is they wanna do, they need, uh, software developers, they're going to have a hard time getting them. So that uh, really creates this barrier of entry against other people creating that product. So that's very important. The third one is need. Now this is interesting here, right? Is that software development cannot generate that need for you. Okay, this is very important. And I am one of those guys who are guilty of building stuff that people do not need. But on the flip side, if you can code your own software, you can pivot very quickly. So you can have something that's been set up and then you say, hey, they don't need it, I will change that 
quickly. So you can quickly use um, the agile technique to actually get to a need much faster than anybody else. Again, bringing you back to some of the bad businesses out there. Like for example, if you set up a Mexican restaurant and people do not want Mexican food, it is so difficult for you to pivot out of Mexican food into something else like Japanese, where you're going to get a Japanese chef. But if you have software and you have something that doesn't quite fit, let's assume that we don't go too far down the rabbit hole of building that out. And we find out that people do not want this site or do not resonate about the content. We can easily change this to something else. You can still have a WordPress site and create another one with the content. Use the same skill sets that you have done. Same thing with Shopify, same thing with V2 or across the EMS system, you can just send it up, create it, you will not waste any of that skill set. The hosting is the same, the, the marketing is the same, a lot of things are similar. So this is one area where you can, you can use Agile and get quickly to the need of the business. It's more likely that you will find a need if you pivot more, uh, three or four times. The fourth reason, which I find is one of the most powerful in software development, is time. So MJ DiMarco says, do not set up a business that's going to consume all your time. I'm going to say this again because it's very important. Do not set up a business that consumes all your time. Or in another way of saying it, it's proportional to your time. So this is like a service business, okay? So if you decided to be a hairstylist or something, it will be something like this where you your time is directly proportional to that business meaning that you cannot escape that business right now this is the one of the big reasons why i pivoted out of doing consulting and building software for clients and actually i want to start my own side hustle and where we're on this journey because no matter how much i make no matter how much skills i have i'm always beholden to how much time I have and even if I'm able to scale it up with uh, contractors or employees right everything still lands on me uh, I still land on you know maybe getting a project manager which is commandment one uh, giving out control so there you can see why I'm trying to make this transition over to having some sort of business that does this now based on all this um, idea of time right why software development is so good is that once you set up the system i'm talking about the system not the service once you set up the system it actually requires very little amount of time for example some of the services that you and me and all these people subscribe for say dropbox or whatever it is that i'm not paying somebody that they have time to uh, store my files for me they have the software that's already there and i've just paid them to use it that is exactly a great business, right? So nothing to do with the owner's time. We don't really care what the owner is doing. This is a great business. And there are not too many of these things around, you know, maybe a vending machine or something like that. But software development is one of them, exactly creating that software. And the final um, commandment that you want to follow is the commandment of scale. Now, we talk about scale a lot in software development. We're always talking scale, 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 scale. And of course, there are limits to the amount of scale that you can do. But in the biggest, compared to other businesses, right, our level of scale is enormous, fantastically enormous in software. It is one of the most scalable businesses there is. You know, maybe next to content creation, software development is one of the most scalable, especially in software, uh, you know, web software. Why? Number one, distribution. The internet's everywhere. You don't have to create anything at all. Number two, digital. You know, you're not manufacturing stuff. I know a friend who is in the manufacturing business, right? And he makes uh, these, uh, we'll call it widgets. Right? And if they need to make another 5,000 more per month, they actually have to create a separate uh, facility, right? Hire people, scale it up. Big, big problems in scaling every single time. There's always quality control. 
in software, you are going to hit that ceiling very, very far down the road. You will probably be making hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars before you even run into that problem, especially if you follow my uh, other tutorials about how to write software that scales a lot. You use a YouTube platform, you use a framework, one of these things, the server power, you will get a huge amount of scaling. And this is really good because you don't want a business where every time things come up, let's say you're a restaurant, you've run out of capacity, you run out of food, you run out of this, you run out of that, you know, or the worst property business, right? If you buy low, sell high. So you found a deal, okay, $1 million and you made 1.3 and then the market's gone up. You cannot find another business at that size anymore. There's no more scale. Software development does not with that problem as a single solopreneur you have a huge amount of scale you could be serving 10,000 people before you run into any issues and if you write it out properly I and mean, with all the other services out there this thing scales wonderfully so if you're a software developer these are the five commandments that MJ DiMarco talked about right and you can go and base it on your own experience, look through all this stuff, and you will realize, hey, I am in the driver's seat. I have all these characteristics to help me out. If you had been a lawyer or doctor or um, engineer or something like that, you're probably not going to have all these skill sets or all these abilities to access these commandments. You're going to have trouble. If you're in a doctor, you are going to have trouble scaling. If you are... A handy person you're probably going to have trouble with entry but for software developers people like you and me all of us we are able to access these five commandments and this is one of the reasons why I want to do that side hustle so that's a huge benefit and that's the bottom line because technically said 